What do you think about TRT? I'm 44 years old. Should I continue to bulk? I'm a teenager. I'm 17. You know, 9, 10% body fat right now. I'll, I'd like to get to 6. So restocked because uh, this is a huge. Make sure that you're using your supplements. Make sure that you're retaining the muscle. How to lose chubby cheeks. We are there. We're there, guys. Oof. A little dried out. Right? What is going on, everybody? I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. You know, 9, 10% body fat right now. I'll, I'd like to get to 6. 6% 6 body fat would be crazy, crazy for me. But right now, this is probably about... 10 percent um hello all right i'm gonna have serge write this up afterwards this is your uh, monday and tuesday check-in all right we're gonna leave this on here for you guys um this is the titan check-in um serge came over today which is really helpful we got some photos the new clothing guys i freaking love you never know, and I said this on my story, you never know the colors. You know, you hope that the colors look as good online as they do in person. And then and then you get the clothing. Let me move this. So restocked, because uh, this is a huge seller. Um, but we went with the straight up blue. And this is a crazy blue, kid. So we got the check-ins, and that will start tomorrow. Um, for everybody put down your information put down your photos um, again this is for the 30-day blitz because I gotta make sure that we change up who needs to change up and then um, let's just keep going on for those people that need to keep going right uh, everybody's gonna continue moving moving forward on the process because we are not done until May 1st. A lot of you will be done before that because you'll be in just too darn good a shape that we won't, don't want to continue. Yet, um, the clothing, and I think it says it on the page too, it's worldwide. Yeah, it's worldwide. Um, so we go as far as Africa, Australia. Uh, the clothing goes everywhere in the world. So that's, that's the great thing about that. So you'll be able to get the clothing uh, worldwide on that. Make sure that you're using your supplements. Make sure that you're retaining the muscle, mostly when we're in a deficit and dieting. That's one of the hardest things, I think, for everybody when, when you diet and retaining that muscle. Um, and that's why I think the, the training when you diet has to be so much smarter. Off-season, you can make mistakes. And, and that's why it's such a great thing because you can make mistakes as long as you're eating a surplus of calories and you're getting the food in there and you're feeding the body with enough protein to build the muscle you can train harder you obviously you can train harder you can train like an absolute savage like Serge and Jeff and Mona um, and you can still put on muscle and muscle and muscle now the tricks come to when you want to fine-tune it and get ready for stage that's tougher um, because you really got to train smart at that point. Um, you, you can't, and it goes back to what Lee Haney said, stimulate the muscle. Don't annihilate it. Um, and so we're going to stimulate the muscle as we are dieting down right now to continue to uh, function it, keep making it grow as best we can with the food and the calories we're on. Uh, just to create the best superhero physiques we possibly can for all of us. But it goes back to the point of, of who decides. And uh, my take on it is I decide. And so for you guys out there, you guys say, well, this is what 30 looks like. This is what 40 likes, looks like. This is what 50 looks like. No, it doesn't. You don't get to decide that. You don't get to decide that for me. Um, I get to decide that. And I think for all of you out there, I wish you guys would have that same kind of mindset. If you're 20 with as high as testosterone as you have, um, you should be freaking jacked. You really should. You should be eating. You should be training hard. You should be strong as anything. That's, 
that's the reason why I got to maintain and keep everything is because at 20 I was freaking jacked. Um, and so the point there is, again, don't let others decide your physique for you. Don't let them decide what you're supposed to look like. Don't let them decide. It's, it's not their decision. Um, and, and so you decide. I get to decide that I woke up at 52 uh, with a full set of abs, uh, healthy skin, um, and ready to be on the cover of magazines. That's my decision. Uh, and I put the work in to do that. And I want you guys to be able to do the same thing. All right? Everybody here. Um, and and don't, don't get chalked up on genetics or anything like that. It is work. It is work, work, work. Um, put in as much work as you can. Make sure that you are the most badass person you can be. Um, get the best sleep you can. Uh, nutrition is all year long. It, it was funny because I don't know if you know this, Serge, but uh, we had a couple people call and go, hey, the gyms are closed, so I'm going to stop the nutrition. You lose. Why you lose. You, you right? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. More than ever, you need the nutrition. I don't care if the gyms are open and closed, and I told you guys a year ago, go into a surplus of food, make sure that you are eating the calories that you need to eat to make sure you are the very best this year. Serge does it. Um, I do it. Jeffrey does it. Mona, you guys know, does that, and that's why she eats such a large amount of carbohydrates and, and food is so she can keep healthy, um, and that's the greatest thing. That is the greatest thing. The dry out, thanks for throwing that down there, Sergi. Mm -hmm. Starts Monday. Um, starts Monday, starts man, Monday tomorrow days. morning. Get that shopping done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, get that shopping done. Get your food ready and prepped today for the dry out. Here's something I'd like to say, and this is, I think, goes back to uh, you decide. So um, what do you think about TRT? I'm 44 years old. And now, that's an interesting one, see, because... I don't know what 44 has to do with TRT. Uh, Clark Bartram is 57 years old, 57, so he's almost a 60-year-old man, and his testosterone is fine at 700. Uh, and again, he's 57, uh, been a natural competitor his whole life, and his testosterone is at 700. Maybe Clark is a freak. Nope, he's not. He's just average. Okay. But the point of that is that it goes back to what his mindset was, is that this person is 44, most likely not the most active person. Um, guarantee he's not on a nutrition plan if he asks this question. And so it's somebody that's not, first of all, you would already know if you needed to be on TRT because you would already got your blood levels yeah, checked. Yeah, what's the doctor say? Yeah, and you would have seen, it, what's your level? is your testosterone yeah. level at 200 or is it at 800? Because um, I'll guarantee you this, it could be at 800 and you can still be fat. You can still be skinny. That doesn't change anything. It's the nutrition that changes right. stuff. And that's what I think most of the people out of both pages here uh, completely Michael, don't realize. I know, what's right? This? Right? What's going on? I know. On? Don't push on it. It'll make me pass I'm, out. Yeah, what's happening? There? So to answer your question, what do I think of it? I don't think anything of it. You're 44 years old, meaning you're still very young. Um, and on top of that, uh, on top of that, you don't know what your levels are. So get tested. Find out what they are, and then the doctor itself will tell you if you need yeah. something or don't need something. Yeah. Um, so it's not something you would ask me. But but by you asking me, you haven't tested yourself, and you're most likely out of shape, and that's why you're saying, hey, maybe you're out of shape because of your testosterone level. If anybody thinks here, both sides, if anybody thinks if you have high testosterone, that means you walk around jacked, you may be the dumbest human on the planet. Just so you understand, every 17, 18, 19 year old has high testosterone and only 1% of them are jacked. So stop. You're just now just being a complete idiot. Someone asks, what is my motivation? I'm alive. That's it. I'm alive. It's, I got one life. I want to make the freaking best out of it. That's my motivation. Done. If you got to find something and search for something and, and being alive is not enough, I can't help you. You should owe yourself to be the most pinnacle of you you can be. And then the decision is, what will you do to make sure that you do hit the pinnacle of what you can possibly be? Um, 
and I was looking at a picture of my uh, a girlfriend of mine, Angela, yesterday. And Angela is a very motivated, passionate person. Angela is also paralyzed from the neck down. Um, me every day. Huh? Motivates me, every motivates me every freaking day. Yeah. I get up and I complain about shit, and then I, I think of her for a second, and I'm like, imagine how bad somebody that can't walk or can't move their arms would love the opportunity to go do that. And then I got you guys going, hey, what's your motivation? Shut up. I mean, seriously, you, you got two good legs and two good arms. Get your ass up, get to the gym, or do something that you freaking love to do. But don't, don't sit here and go, ah, life could be a lot freaking worse. You got one life. You're alive. Make it happen, guys. Somebody asked, uh, what about playing soccer a couple, few days during the week while working out? If you like soccer and it's something you like to do, go do it, man. Enjoy. Um, that's a lot of running. I, I, I wish you the very best, man. But, but again, it, whatever you like to do, go do it. Don't give up something just because you want to be in shape or something like that. Don't do that. Um, if you like soccer, go do soccer. Just understand that you know, you're giving up a little something to go do something. If you like to go party, you're giving up some sleep a couple days and moving forward so you can party. But I'm not going to tell you not to go party. Go enjoy your life. Go do the things that you want to do. Um, just understand the consequences of it. The mental focus is key to everything you do in life. 100% uh, true, man. Uh, Mark started his TRT. Awesome. Can't wait to see what happens. Now, most likely, uh, because he started it, that means he saw a doctor. The doctor said you were low, and so he got onto it to help him also recover and uh, get better and fix the body. How to lose chubby cheeks. Uh, why is this happening? Chubby cheeks doesn't mean anything. It just means that you're fat everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Um, but all you see is because you put clothes on is, is your cheeks. And you're like, oh, I can cover up everything else but my cheeks. You're just fat. Um, <laughs> so when you lose the fat, the cheeks will go. And why is it happening? You're not eating right. Should I continue to bulk? I'm a teenager. I'm 17. 100%. Oh, yeah. uh, 100%. You're 17. So in that range of you guys being teenagers... Uh, pre uh, pre puberty, all that kind of stuff, into your early twenties. Please put the size on. Eat the food. Do not be in a deficit. Get your size. That is the special time of of life to when you get all that size. Remember, you're 17. By 15, I was 10 pounds bigger than I am now. By 15 years old. So two years younger than you. I was just barely a teenager. I was 272 pounds. Jacked. Uh, the strongest kid in Washington State, if not the nation. Um, and so that's when I was putting all my size and muscle on. Look at this hot, hot girl coming in here. Oh my God. Coming in hot, guys. So please, as they a 17-year-old. You guys love, love our shirts. Hey, do you know where the red one is? Did you grab that? Red, I, you know a red one? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I over there. A, okay. Yeah, I got These it. shirts are. I just want to let you know that I did cut the sleeves off the shirt. <laughs> you guys do know that. That's Mona cuts the <laughs> sleeves off. That's when you got nice arms like that. You got to do that. Come on over here. Come on over here. Oh my God. No, I had just to, sit on my lap. I had to cut. I had to cut the sleeves off. I mean, yeah. I just, and I love the color. We got a ten-year-old on the strength program. A ten-year-old on the strength. Really? I love that. Wow. I love that. That's gonna I, be tight. So he yeah, just, mm -hmm. Serge just said uh, we got a ten year old. Now just to clarify, I started training at eight years old, nine years old it is when I started my nutrition plan at nine years old. And that's why by fifteen years old I was the strongest in the nation. Um, and so what I love is that a father is allowing their ten year old to start lifting and, and get that strength because he's setting it up to win. I don't know if you guys saw pictures, and, and I, I, I blows my mind when I look at Titan thinking he's a one-year-old. Because <laughs> everybody's like, no, he looks like he's five. I agree with that. He does look like we he's five. We were talking about that today. But he's one. He's one. Uh, this he's year he two. turns two. two. He's going to be two years old. And so just uh, imagine the way that we're feeding him. I hope you parents are feeding your kids um continuously protein uh, and, and feeding them healthy foods 
and teaching them the habit, the habit of eating and, and, and understanding that eating is more important. I, I, I talked to these people earlier and I told them the funny thing you told me okay. is that the gyms were closed and so people canceled their nutrition plan. It's so crazy. And, and, it's, and, and it shows me how I, I they just, don't know anything it about. It bugs me that somebody would do that when you need it the most.